Today we are going to examine that supported headstand, Salamba Shashasana. If you are curious on how to do this pose, some tips, some tricks, some hacks, all those good things, stay tuned because that is coming right up. Hello magnificent human beings, my name is Landon Slaughter. This channel is all about fixing the kinks in your yoga practice by deepening your knowledge, allowing you to have those transformative and amazing yoga practices. So it is supported headstand. Let's dive right in and talk about the grip. So in the grip, uh, I think there's a common misconception where you want to um, be cupping the back of your head, as in, you know, your palms are really cradling the back of that skull. And I think this is um, not really the best practice because when you do that, you're almost encouraging this rotation to happen in your forearms and you don't want that. So forget about cupping the back of your skull because that can actually kind of tilt your head in a way you don't want. Interlace your fingers, bring your pinkies next to one another so that you're not putting weight in one pinky or the other. So bring your hands together and then just gently having those pinkies next to one another. Keep your thumbs crossed because when you have them up like this, again, it kind of encourages that rotation that we don't want. So keep your thumbs crossed and don't cup the back of your head, rather just kind of the buds of your thumbs and your palms almost, they will be touching the back of your head, but they're not going to be having that full kind of cupping and holding the back of your skull because we don't really need that support. We need the support of our forearms pressing strong into the mat. So looking at this, interlacing those fingers, and then you really can press into the mat rather than cupping where you start to rotate outward. So that's the first tip is getting the grip right. Next thing is where do you position your elbows? How far apart? I like to come into table top and tuck your toes, come on back. So if you're in a true table top, then shoulders above wrists and then knees beneath hips. So two fists in between your knees, right? because that means hips distance. And then tuck your toes, come on back, and place your elbows on the outside of your knees. And then bring your hands together and make that good grip. And so if you look, we have a really great wide stance here. So once you have your stance down, then it's time to start messing with inverting yourself and coming up, right? But before we do that, we gotta make sure our head is in the right spot. So let's assume you have your strong stance here. Good position, nice wide triangle base. You press the crown of your head into the mat, just gently. So, Pressing it on in, and you don't want to round your neck as you do this, and you don't want to place your forehead on the mat either. It's genuinely trying to find that very tip top part of your skull and have that just very gently kind of grazing the mat. And we never want to put a lot of weight into our head. I genuinely believe that it should be maybe, you know, 10% of your body weight or less. Um, I think a lot of traditions talk about um, having equal weight between you know your skull and your forearms. I just don't like the idea of putting that much weight in my cervical vertebrae. So um, that's what I believe. And um, if you think that's wrong or different, I'm sorry. I just really want to kind of protect protect our necks, right? So interlacing those fingers here. And then slowly, slowly starting to come on to that head. 
You can lift off, coming onto those toes. And the danger is, is if you start to lift too far forward, you're gonna bend your neck, right? So we don't wanna do that. So, trying to keep that nice flat back and focusing on that flat back because a flat back hopefully will keep your neck relatively flat as well, right? And eventually you can lift one leg off, lift the other, kind of practicing before you come up. And eventually that core engages and you lift all the way up. and coming back down. So again, top part of your skull, not too much weight there. You really wanna have that power of pressing those forearms into the mat in your supported forearm stand. So, well, supported headstand. Thank all of you so, so much for being here. I truly, greatly, tremendously appreciate it. And from my heart to all of yours, namaste.